great day to each and everyone. I would like to acknowledge the completion of the feasibility study has been made possible by the guidance, supervision, cooperation, and participation of all people around us. First of all, we would like to express our deepest gratitude to our advisor, Ms. Ellen Labajo, who has greatly shared her knowledge, recommendation, and suggestion with us with patience and diligence in helping us meet the necessary work for the completion of our feasibility study, and for giving us opportunity to make this study as part for our endless search of knowledge. Great thanks to our family for all the love and support in doing this study. They made us successful by helping us in a big way by providing financial support, accommodation, and special strength and inspiration in accomplishment of everything we do. We want to acknowledge as well as all our respondents who spent some time and effort in cooperating on answering questionnaires. We would also like to thank everyone who helped us even in a small way, particularly our friends, and classmates contributing to the success of this project. And above all, this study won't be possible without the guidance and inspiration given by our Almighty God, who always look up and secure the safety of the proponents of this project. This image represents the logo of the Chicxilicious restaurants. It is a combination of the egg and the wings, which is portraying the business products that we sell. Number one, introduction. This paper is to present a proposal in making a new business project which seeks to conduct a feasibility study of a casual dining type of restaurant which serves an unlimited selection of flavored chicken wings and balot. The restaurant will be conveniently located in Rizal Street, Palompon Leyte. The food service industry has grown at an incredible rate over the past couple of decades. It is also considered to be the most known industry in the world which offers a variety of food, drinks, and other services. Having a unique strategy in selling, the writers of this study will introduce a casual dining type of restaurant, which is called the Chixilicious Restaurant. It will be located at the Rizal Street, Palompon Leyte. The restaurant will serve an unlimited selection of flavored chicken wings during the day and unlimited balut or boiled duck egg embryo in the evening. Filipinos commonly love to eat chicken as a viand and balut is considered as a popular Filipino delicacy. So, the proponents of this study came up with an idea to create a business that provides a unique and mouth-watering variations of chicken dishes and balot, which also symbolizes and promotes the Filipino culture. Balot is a very popular Filipino exotic food, which is an incubated duck egg that is boiled and then eaten in the shell by gently tapping the pointed tip of the egg until it opens a small hole. Just enough to share off the paper thin sack where a juicy light colored broth can be seen. The proposed casual dining restaurant will also offer a wings, flame chill, mild teriyaki, garlic buttered, and spicy and the classic taste. Putting up and choosing an unlimited balut and chicken wings as the leading products for the business proposal is unique as it will surely satisfy everyone's cravings. It provides a memorable experience for our valued guests and customers. It is a mouth authoring food variations in a budget friendly price. The restaurant will be located at the center of the town with a civil population of 58,000 residents of Palompon Leyte accumulating our target market in any edges. Chixilicious restaurant operational time begins at 9 a.m. serving a variety of flavored chicken wings until 4 in the afternoon from Monday to Sunday. In the evening, the establishment will provide and serve unlimited balut for the price range of 120 pesos. Upon request of the customer, the establishment can also provide chicken wings for dinner, but prominently the establishment offers balut only in the evening and the operation ends at exactly 9 p.m. This kind of business having a dominant marketing strategy in provision of a unique menu with a good service to offer can attract a lot of adventurous food enthusiasts and profit for the business. Chapter 2. Overview of the Industry, Identification and Exploration of Business Scenarios 
Throughout the restaurant industry, there is a wide variety of service styles determining which style of services best suits our talents and needs. It's the first process of opening a business. Each service style caters to specific markets and in order to ensure success, our service style must please our target market. Fast food. Also known as quick service restaurants cater to people in fast-paced environments. This style of restaurant primarily serves food such as burgers, fries, chicken sandwiches, and etc. that are made in bulk, wrap, and kit warm until served. This doesn't allow foods to be made fresh with high-quality ingredients along with having healthiest selection of food. Fast food restaurants have minimal seating in any as they might have a drive through option available. Fast casual restaurant do not offer full table side service, but some places may have some aspects of table side service available. This is a new and upcoming concept that is a combination between fast food and casual dining. Fast casual dining also focuses on healthier food options as well as fresh ingredients. These restaurants cater to people who would like to receive their food in a timely manner. To get in out of the restaurant rather than sitting around waiting for food and service. Such as in, in casual or fine dining, this style of service would fit perfectly for the needs of our target market. Having a fast casual style allows customers to come at any time of day and receive quality food without having to commit a lot of time to dining. Casual dining is a style of service where a restaurant serves moderately priced food in a casual atmosphere. Casual dining restaurants provide full table service as well as a fully stocked bar. Fine dining restaurants are full service restaurants offering only the highest quality food service and experience. Buffet restaurants normally offer all you can eat food for a set price, but some measures prices by weight or by number of dishes, buffet usually have some hot dishes, so the term called buffet has been developed to describe formats lacking hot food, hot or cold buffet, usually involve dishware and utensils. But a finger buffet is an array of foods that are designed to be small and easily consumed only by hand, such as cupcakes, slice of pizza, foods on cocktail sticks, and etc. Good day everyone, I'm Vince Javier Bima Asin and I'm assigned to discuss the chapter 3 which is the project area or place strategy and the chapter 4 which is the project summary of this study. Building a restaurant in a crowded or central market is the best strategy in making a business that is profitable and in demand. Palampon is a second-class municipality in the province of Leyte with a population of 58,108 people. As we notice, Palampon is slowly growing municipality in Leyte. Every year, the municipality population is rapidly and continually grow, makes the market ripe for, for a new restaurant. Since Palompon has growing population, it means Palompon has a greater demand to sustain a business like this. This business, Chicxilicious, would be located at Rizal Street, Palompon Leyte, beside Jollibee Palompon, and would be positioned exactly at the Midtown Central Market. With this prospect location made this business a bit challenging since Jollibee would be the greatest competition that this business would have. Knowing Jollibee is one of the most famous and successful business in the industry. However, the uniqueness of this business has a great potential to compete with the competition within the location. Result Street would be a good location for the business since it is a main route of Palompon where all big and essential establishment located. You've probably heard the classic advice, location, location, location. You know what? Deciding where to locate a business has always been an important element of setting up a business. Success of a business will depend on how well you are positioned to be found. If your business address is far away from your target audience or far away from city or town location, prospects may find it difficult to locate you. In building a business, we must carefully choose a location within or near a town central market in order for our target market easily locate or access us.
This place that we choose absolutely a good place for setting up a business because it is only a walking distance away from Palompon Terminal. And we, the writer of this study, believe that this would be a best location that will increase the brand visibility of the business. It would bring huge advantage to increase the sales as well as it helps the growth of the business. Having a good business location is an immense advantage for the restaurant to prosper, specifically prioritizing the convenience of the customers, suppliers, and the employee. Next is the target market of this study. A target market is a set of individuals sharing similar needs of characteristics that a company hopes to serve or a group of potential customers to whom a company wants to sell its product and services. The customers and clients of Chicxilicious restaurant will be divided into four main groups. First is the family. Our families, those families who live in Palumpon who seeks for bonding and treasured time. Second target market for this business are those friends of ours, friends of friends, and those students who seeks for pleasure and fun, and those students or individuals who craves for balut and chicken wings. Another prospect for this business are those workers and employees who work in Palumpon, who specially treat themselves and co-workers for dine-in. And lastly, the visitors and tourists of Palompon that looks for convenient and delightful foods at the town for building good memories and to try to experience the exotic food like balot. Because some of foreign people are very curious to try different famous Filipino food here in Philippines. Chicxilicious Restaurant offers food and beverage to any ages. For those individuals who, who are health conscious, they can also try the food items in a moderate consumption. And for those minor individuals who eat balut, should be accompanied with adults for supervision, giving the best to provide excellent service aiming for the best experience of the customers. Okay, now let's move on to the project summary of this study. Palampunganans are very outgoing people and are fond of trying out new things for leisure purposes. Chicxilicious restaurants hold the vision of providing fun, deliciously appetizing, uniquely enchanting food and beverage products while maintaining the commitment to uncompromised quality of economical rate with a proper purpose to cater the society's needs, taste, and preference rather than simply convincing our customers to try and like whatever products we develop. Developing a new product for the public is never an easy undertaking. The number of new products that are actually made significant to the total numbers that are actually produced will be served in a good plating and taste. We, the writer of this study who happens to be a student, at the same time employees, business owners discovered that the proposed products will definitely make a significant impact and will be enjoyed by the consumers. Chicxilicious Restaurant will provide satisfaction to those adventurous food enthusiasts which offers an almost endless or unlimited flavored chicken wings and balut. The restaurant will serve an unlimited selection of flavored chicken wings during the day which is the establishment begins at 9 a.m. serving a variety of flavored chicken wings until 4 in the afternoon from Monday to Sunday and unlimited balut or boiled duck egg in brio in the evening and ends at exactly 9 p.m. Upon request of the customer, the establishment can also provide chicken wings for dinner. Price for unlimited balut would be 120 pesos per head. Next is to process how we're gonna serve the balut to consumers. Only one balut will be served first in a small plate by the server and the customer can only get for another one if he or she finished to consume it. Shell must be in plate for evidence purposes. Once the customer finished to consume it, the server will automatically provide another one balut in a new small plate. Each table has vinegar and salt provided. One of the disadvantages when a restaurant offers unlimited foods, some of the customers will just ask for more rep replenishment even though the food that served was not yet finished. Or worse, some customers will just secretly hide a piece of balut somewhere like their bags, especially a balut may easily be kept on a bag. So to prevent customers' dishonesty, we just made this kind of process of serving the balut. Another leading product this restaurant offer, a delicious and savory unlimited chicken wings with a variety of flavors such as buffalo wings, flame chili, mild teriyaki, garlic butter, sweet and spicy, and the classic taste. Every person can order three kinds of flavored wings in the menu. Every dish has four pieces of wings and three menu consists of 12 chicken wings with a price range of 250 pesos. However, there would be a limitation in the duration of the unlimited. Only two hours per order is the maximum duration range for the unlimited. In two hours, the customer can order or eat as many chickens as he or she can. 
After two hours, the customer should buy or pay for another order of set wings unlimited. Customer can also buy flavor of chicken wings with a cup of rice in a glass of iced tea with a price of 60 pesos, but it's not an unlimited. For the unlimited wings, customer can add more order in two hours limited time. However, they can only get for another set of dish if they finish the first order. Left of full dress wings and balut will be charged of 20 pesos per piece. Next, I'm going to discuss to you the restaurant layout for the establishment. So as you can see the image of this building, this would be the 3D front view of the restaurant. And the right side of it is a 3D first floor plan and a 3D second floor plan. But before describing the interior design of this establishment, let me emphasize first the importance of a restaurant layout. Many factors play a role in ensuring great customer experience. Sometimes we just only focus on the food and the services we render. We often overlook the restaurant layout, which in reality, plays a crucial part in the overall experience of the customer, meaning restaurant interior design will bring huge impact to the overall experience of your customer. In building a rest restaurant or in building any business building, restaurant layout and design really matters. The restaurant design will vary or depends on what type of what type your restaurant is. So in this business, we mentioned that this kind of business is a combination of a quick service restaurant and a casual dining restaurant. So we sketch a restaurant layout or blueprint that caters all the needs and important aspect of this kind of business. We made a layout, as you can see here, this would be the official layout or blueprint of the restaurant that we're going to plan to build. So let's start in the entrance of this building. As you don't see in the picture, we actually have a small area in the front that will be a place for a parking area, which is very important for any establishment to have a parking area. In building a business, it is very important to consider the availability of parking lot because some of the customers that has a car will just choose to go somewhere else if it's hard to find a parking area. So we make sure that this restaurant has its own parking lot for those customers who has vehicle. Okay, let's go inside. By the way, this building can accommodate a maximum capacity of 80 individuals. There will be a total number of 10 tables that has 4 chairs in the first floor and same number of tables at the second floor. All in all, this establishment has 20 tables and 80 chairs plus 20 person at the private room. There will be also a comfortable and cozy sofa that will be placed in the waiting lounge just in case the table were fully booked. We still have a space to accommodate those waiting customers. There will be also a station for the front desk for order station. At the same time, a cashier area. There will be also a wash area at the back in the first floor and one wash area at the second floor. There will be also a two comfort rooms respectively designed for male and female and for physically challenged people. Okay, let's go to the most important area in the restaurant, which is the kitchen. All equipment, tools for cooking is well placed on its respective places such as refrigerator, oven burner, and etc. As you notice, we made some openings in the wall where customers could really watch or see what's really happening inside the kitchen. We obviously show the inside of the kitchen for the reason that we want to let the customer know how clean, how safe, and how the staff prepared their food is. At the back of the kitchen, we have storage room where all food supplies stored. In building a restaurant, one important technique is the order station and the kitchen. The storage room must be connected. One reason is it's easy to rely the order of the customers towards kitchen, which it helps to provide quick service to consumers. Another important aspect in the building is the safety. Fire exit must be in any establishment as well as well provided with firefighter equipments like fire extinguisher, and etc. Yes, in this building, as you see, we have a firefighter equipment here attached near at the comfort room. And the first floor of this building has two fire exits, one for the customer which located near at wash area and another fire exit would be at the kitchen for the staff. And in the second floor, we also have two fire exits where one is located near at stairs and the other one would be at the side inside of the private room. The customers can also dine in and relax at the second floor with an overlooking view of the town of the town main road. Entire building is well ventilated with aircon. 
And second floor, there's a private room for those customers who want to dine in privately. This room has a maximum capacity of 20 person. Rent of this room would be 500 per hour. Entertainment devices is available inside like karaoke. There's also a big sofa inside and a long size table with a 20 chairs. Food is not included in the rent price of the room. We, the writer of this study, do recommend to have a home nature-like ambience where interior is well designed with plants, wood color for the tables and furniture, aquariums, hanging plants, vintage frames, displays, which we believe that it could bring impact to the style and uniqueness of this restaurant. If this would be the appearance of the restaurant, the customer will surely enjoy and wind, relieve with their stresses while filling their stomach or while satisfying their cravings. Good morning everyone, my name is Ruth A. Etam and I'm here to discuss to you the chapter 5 of our business proposal which is the marketing strategy and the chapter 6 which is the production plan. So, what is marketing plan or market strategy? So, marketing strategy or the marketing plan, it is the comprehensive plan formulated particularly for achieving the marketing objectives in an organization. It provides a blueprint in attaining the marketing objectives. So a marketing strategy helps an organization to concentrate its scarce resources on the possible opportunities so as to increase the sales. The importance of marketing strategy is to provide an organization a niche over its competitors. The strategy helps in developing goods and services with the best profit-making potential. It can also help an organization to make an optimum utilization of its resources to provide a sales message to its target market. So, marketing plan or marketing strategy plays a vital role in making a business. Why? Because it determines what are your strengths. It can determine what are your weaknesses, your threats and opportunities to overcome those hindrances and obstacles that your business will be facing soon. So I have attached here a SWOT analysis. So what is SWOT? What is SWOT analysis? So SWOT stands for strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. So SWOT analysis is a simple but useful framework for analyzing your organization's strength weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. It helps you to build on what you do well, to address what to address what you are lacking or what your business is lacking, and to minimize all the possible risk, and to take the greatest possible advantage of chances for success. It is a planning methodology that helps organization build a strategic plan to meet your goals improve operations and keep the business relevant so let's start with your strength so the strength are the things that the organization does particularly well or in a way that disguises you from your competitors so here i have attached all the possible factors all the possible strengths that our business possess so first so first in line is the variety of our product. With this, it has the major impact on our business. So why? It is because Chixelicious is the only semi-formal restaurant here in Palampon that sells unlimited chicken wings with five different flavors during daytime and unlimited balot during nighttime. So the uniqueness of the product is present there so that so that it is one of your uh, edges amongst or against your competitors in the industry. So second factor is Chicks uh, is, is a new establishment. Chicks Delicious is new to the business world. We all know that people love adventure right like people loves to explore new things in their life especially exploring a product or a food that is mouth-watering and new to the eyes of the mass 
We do believe in the saying that new things attract new customers. So, next is or the third factor is offering quality service and food. The we, the researchers, gives you the 100% assurance that all our employees are well trained and friendly. Business is not all about products, uh, but also it is also about giving good customer service to them. To pamper our customers not just by food that they have ordered, but also pampering them with the excellency of your services. So we are we do believe in the powerful formula of good quality of product plus good customer service equals happy customers. So that means if all our customers are happy and satisfied with the, the food and the services that we are rendering to them, then the more that they are attracted to keep on coming back to our restaurant. So the fourth factor of our strength is the pricing structure, such as offering a lower price menu than similar restaurants in the area. So there's a saying that pricing is the key to increasing profits. So pricing is, well, in fact, the most vital component when it comes to making money. So you have to consider that in order to make a profit, uh, you have to set the price that, it, uh, that is very affordable to the mass, especially here in Palompon. Not all, uh, you also have to understand that not all people here in, par in Palom Pond can, af uh, can afford expensive foods. So people are very certain to what food they are going to buy. So the lesser the price, the more of chances attracting them to buy your food or to buy the product. So lastly, the last factor is that it, the room is air conditioned. So the ambience in a restaurant plays an undeniably significant role in shaping your customer's overall dining experience. So the ambience ties the cuisine, the service, and the environment together to define your diner's perception of your restaurant. The ambience in many cases is probably one of the most important aspects of any businesses. Ambience sets the mood, the character, quality, tone, and the atmosphere of your business. So, those are the strength of the Chicks Delicious restaurant. So, let's tackle about the weaknesses and threats. So, first weakness of the of our business is it is new in the industry. So, Chicks Delicious is new to the business world, which means people will have doubt towards the restaurant. There is a trust issue there whether they are going to buy the food. So they didn't have like any idea of what my of what made it taste like. So in comparison to Jollibee, one of the leading brand in a fast food restaurant, still in the long run for almost how many years? Like obviously people will love to go there since uh, they have experienced a, a quality product of the regular fried chicken. So the signature, uh, the, the signature dish that the Jollibee offers is the regular fried chicken, right? And the spaghetti as well as its sundaes. So second is Chicks Delicious is out of the city. So it is one of the advantages that it is located outside of the city. Why? Because if you're going to come Pair Palumpon to its neighboring city like Ormo. There's a lot of differences there. First is the place. It is a place where there's a huge herd of people living in a city. So, the third major aspect that is one of your weaknesses is competing with a major restaurant threat. Like uh, I have mentioned it earlier, that Jollibee is one of the leading brand not only in the Philippines but also internationally. So great example of the major brand 
uh, located here in Palampuan are the Jollibee, the EJ's Pizza House, and any fast food restaurants. So the customers will be very uncertain to which restaurant he should dine in because there are many options there whether uh, they would like to go in Jollibee or in the EJ or Arlene's or even Sophia's. So next are the threats. So threats include anything that can negatively affect the business from the outside such as the supply chain problems, ships, shifts in market requirements or a shortage of recruits. So the first on the list is the increment in the operational cost. So if the prices of the raw materials that you needed increases, so there is a possibility that the price of the food you'd serve also rises. So it can cause to store a shortage of your budget or even worse, loss of consumers. So next is the competing restaurant located nearby. So again, as I mentioned earlier, Chicxilicious is located in the heart of Palumpon. So to be specific, it is located in the Rizal Street along the road of its competitors, huge competitors, huge brand, such as Jollibee. So basically, uh, the proper way to win consumers' trust is to pamper them, not just by our quality product, but also giving them such a wonderful experience when dining in in the cheese delicious so that might be one of our edges there so last one is there might be there might be soon new restaurants opening up nearby so obviously people will have confusion to which restaurants serves the best food so uh, creating confusion to the customers and which where to go where where is the best food that is being served? Right. So, it is vital to anticipate threats and to take action against them before you become a victim of failure. That is why we wrote down what opportunities are open. So, opportunities are opening or chances for something positive to happen. But of course, you'll need to claim them for yourself. They usually arise from situations outside your organization and require an eye to what might happen in the future. So here are the opportunities to overcome all the obstacles that your business will be facing soon. On the list is the uniqueness of the restaurants. No other restaurant's competitor has the same business concept like you do. If the people of Palompon craves for a buffalo wings, then automatically they will dine in in Chicxilicious, one of your marketing strategy. So next is, it is located in an area where there are a lot of potential customers. I have explained it earlier that Chicxilicious is located in Uptown, where greater residential, commercial, and sometimes offices are located nearby. The advantage is that there's a possibility of stronger diner, business, late night business, with the ability to build regular clientele. So let's proceed to chapter 6, which is the production plan. So, the production plan is the technical study of this project, compromises product descriptions, product process equipment, materials, location, and layout. In this area, it discusses on how the product balot and the unlimited flavored wings is produced, what ingredients and equipment needed, and where will the researchers going to put the said business and the layout. So the marketing study covers the general business condition, competitive condition, target market, the demand, supply, product, pricing, the strategy, promotion and packaging so under the production plan is a price the prices of the raw materials that we're going to use so and the prices of the finished product that we are going to offer 
So first is prices. The price is which when set properly can contribute largely to the achievement of the firm goals. Competitors based approach refers to the setting of prices based on what prices is being charged by its competitor. So I have here I have attached here the prices of our products. So some sort of menu prices. So for the unlimited balloon, it is uh, 120 pesos per box. And for the unlimited buffalo wings, that would gonna be 250 pesos per box only, per one person. So, so we have here six different flavored of of buffalo wings. So first is the flame chili barbecue, the mild teriyaki, garlic butter, sweet and spicy chili, and classic or the regular fried chicken. So during daytime, we are also serving unlimited uh, breads. So for the beverages, we have here the regular Coke, 17 pesos, Sprite, 17 pesos, and also the Royal, 17 pesos, the mineral water, which is 20 pesos, and for the iced tea tower, that's um, an inclusion if you're going to buy, uh, if you're going to dine in during daytime in the limited buffalo mix. And for the milk, that would gonna be 25 pesos. So let's proceed to the production process. So production process starts with raw foods and materials process into finished products that will be served in an organized plate. So here are the raw materials for, for the products. So in chicken wings, our source here is the neighbor cities like Ormoc. So estimated 1,000 kilo per day, so that would get cost 8,000, 18,000. So for the balot, same source for the, in neighboring city, so 500 pieces per day, so that would gonna be 6,000. For the onion, garlic, salt, sugar, butter, chili, and so on. So our source there is in the local market. So at, uh, the estimated uh, kilo for those ingredients that would gonna be one one kilo per ingredients so for the onion it costs 200 and for the garlic it costs 200 so same to salt and sugar that would gonna be 50 pesos each and for the butter one kilo butter that would gonna be 200 one kilo for the chili sauce that gonna be that would gonna be 100 and also with the vinegar that one gallon of vinegar that would gonna be 102 in the flour which is 50 pesos in sesame seeds seeds which is 50 pesos too as well as the pepper in the seasonings so here is the dining equipment list so as you can uh, see the estimated quantity of the spoon and fork is 80 why? Because we uh, we estimated to to accommodate 80 packs in our restaurant, so 40 on the first floor and 40 on the second second floor. So spoon is 80 pieces. So estimated price that would gonna be 10 pesos each. So 80 times 10, so that would gonna be 800. For the fork, that would also gonna be 800 times 10, so 80 times 10 so equals to 800. So the drink tower dispenser, uh, estimated quantity is 20. So the price per piece is 1,000. So 20, 000, 20 times 1,000, so that would gonna be 20,000. So for the tissue holder, that would gonna be 20. And the price per piece is 50. So 20 times 50, that would gonna be 1,000. For the plates and glass, the estimated quantity is 80 pieces. So for the plates, 
65 each so that would gonna be 5200 and for the glass 10 pesos that would gonna be 800 for the chairs uh, 20 chairs so estimated price 90 so that would gonna be 1800 for the serving serving platter that would gonna be 30 pieces 200 pesos per piece so total of 6,000 so for the tables that would gonna be 20 pieces so per price is 800 so that would gonna be 16,000 and for the picture that would gonna be 10 pieces so the per price per piece is 325 so that would gonna be 3,250 so all in all in the dining equipment list and prices that would gonna be 55,650 so now let's proceed to the kitchen equipment. So for the rice cooker, this the immediate quantity is two pieces. So the price that would gonna be five thousand, so a total of ten thousand. For the sink that would gonna be two pieces only, so six thousand each, so that would gonna be twelve thousand. And for the working table that would gonna be two pieces only. Estimated price in each table is 4,000, so that would gonna be 8,000. So the refrigerator with freezer, only one, so that would gonna be 35,000. For the large knife, two pieces, 250 pesos per piece, so that would gonna be 500. For the wool is three pieces, so 450 each so three times 450 that would gonna be 1350 so for the water dispenser we only needed one so that would gonna be 3500 and for the tongue that is three pieces so three times 150 that would gonna be 450 as well as in the ladder so four pieces so 65 pesos each so that would gonna be 260 for the garbage bin, um, two, two pieces, so the estimated price is 120, so 120 times 2, that would gonna be 240. For the chopping board, that would gonna be 3 pieces, so 180 per piece, so 180 times 3, that would gonna be 540. For the gas stove, that We'll, uh, we will gonna be needing one only, so that would cost two thousand. And for the deep fryer, is six thousand. So all in all, the to sum all the expenses in the kitchen equipment, it cost seventy nine thousand eight hundred and forty pesos. A pleasant day to everyone. I am Abby Julian Oberbosa. I am assigned to discuss the Chapter 6 uh, Production Plan, Section C Competition, and Section D Promotion and its Methods of Promotion, and the Chapter 7 all about the personal plan of our feasibility study. Section C is all about competition. Competition in each business, uh, it is a very normal business establishments in the area existed in the competitive environment restaurants are in fierce competition with each other to provide the best possible value for money and high quality appetizing foods which offers the most suitable range of products for their customers typical foods are commonly offered by a lot of restaurants establishments here in Palompon and most are really noteworthy about their profit and its customer satisfaction but not into making the community health wise. The fact that the value of its products or foods is affordable yet it pertains only a few serving. What is more interesting about our Chicxilichis restaurants, the immense growth of restaurants or eateries serving unlimited chicken wings and balot. These are the three restaurants that is also situated in our 
target location. These are the AJS Pizza House, the Crispy King, and the Jollibee. These three restaurants serve an entirely different set of menu classification. This, all, this will only affect the group of customers that will choose to eat on a different menu base. People with a taste of flavored chicken wings and balot will surely go to this proposed restaurant, the Chicks Delicious restaurant. The refreshing iced tea that is served in a tower dispenser will also have an edge competition because it will surely encourage the people to try something that they have never been experienced before. However, leftover food items are highly discouraged as there will be a charge or penalties of 20 pesos per piece. Next one is promotion. Promotion is an activity to support or provide an active encouragement for the furtherance of cost venture or aim to make the customer aware that our products exist. It could be in, in advertising, in public relation, and social media. It can increase the customer traffic, build profits, and sales. Advertising is an activity or profession of producing advertisement for commercial products or services. So here are the methods that we will use for promotion for promotion or promoting our restaurant. First is the tarpaulin. Tarpaulin is the most convenient and effective way to promote our business. It is cost effective, wide audience reach it easily recognizable and flexible and it is straightforward and low maintenance. It can help to raise awareness about our brand faster and our, our product faster for it has a cheaper cost. The size of our tarpaulin is 4 by 3 feet. We also come up to promote our restaurant through brochures or flyers. A brochure or flyers is a printed piece of marketing collaterals that often includes a trifold layout. Uh, it is have a page insert or a booklet format. This tool is especially important and useful for small businesses. The versatility marketing kits, informations, and cost of the size of the brochure is 21.59 cm by 27.94 cm. Next is the publicity. Publicity is a process of creating a public awareness of our business, our brand, products, and services through the media coverage or other forms of communication in order to sell products or services. The customers have to know that the business exists. As more people aware about the business, the potential for turning these people into customer also increase. Next is the Facebook page. It is also a useful advertising the products and service because most of the companies already put up their own home page which serve as a form of advertising the audience seek. Lastly is the word of mouth marketing is when a consumer's interest in a company, products, or service is reflected in their daily dialogues. Essentially, it is a free advertising triggered by customer experiences and usually something that goes beyond what they expected. So here is a table that we, the advertising media that we will use and how much it costs, how many of it, and its total. First is the tarpaulin. The price of each tarpaulin is 150 pesos. So total of 450 pesos for the brochures, now we decided to take a 100 pieces of brochures. Uh, price of each brochure is 30 pesos, total of 300 pesos. Next is the chapter 7, 
all about the our personal plan of our feasibility study. As you can see in the figure, our Chicxilicious restaurant organizational structure. Personal plan, uh, it includes the organizational structure, the staff's uh, salaries. So every business requires for line and staff activities enable for the business to operate. Since line activities are directly concerned with the attaining of the company service objectives and to the guests and customers, while the staff activities are said to exist to help and make line activities more effective and efficient, policy execution and the supervision of the business daily operation shall be done by the manager. So, here are the responsibilities or the task of each staff for the manager or the owner he is he or she oversees the operational system and procedure ensures the quality control and post production supervise and train production staff to efficiently and safely produce high volume of multiple products planning organizing staffing leading coordinating, budgeting, and controlling. Under the administration of the manager are the lower position that help the operation of the business. First is the cashier. Cashier is the one who collect the income and supervise the marketing daily activities of the business, including the identification and the development of the marketing strategies as long as the sustainability of the service rendered to the customer. Also, cashiers are the one responsible to process the payment and return the transaction. They are the one who resolve customer uh, issues and answers inquiries, provides positive customers experience with fair, friendly, and courteous service. Second is the chef or cooks. Chefs or cooks are the ones who are in charge of preparing foods, kitchen operation, and cost control of the product being served with the minimal wastage. Chef or cook also responsible to manage food costings and inventory, create prep list form kitchen for crew, maintain standards for food storage, rotation and quality and appearance. Next is the waitress or waiters. The waitress or waiters responsible, responsible to greet and escort customers to their tables, offer menu recommendations upon request, present menu and provide detailed informations. They are also the one who prepares table by setting up linens, silverwares, and glasses, inform customers about their day special. Waitress or waiters are the heart of the restaurants. Uh, they are the one who interacts the customers, providing good customer service and satisfy the guests. Next is the cleaners, <coughs> cleaners or the janitors who ensures the cleanliness and sanitation of all or the entire establishment. So cleaners and janitors also responsible to vacuum, sweep or mop the floors, cleaning and stock the restrooms, ensures that the doors are locked after hours and clean up spills with appropriate equipment. Lastly is the dishwasher. The dishwashers are responsible to wash and sanitize all plants, utensils, and dishes and organize them properly. Maintain a clean work area. They are the one who also perform additional cleaning duties as requested and clean food prep stations and equipment. So the Chicks Delicious restaurants uh, 
starts from 9 a.m., opens from 9 a.m. up to 9 p.m. Chicxulicious restaurants uh, have two shifts, the morning shift and the evening shift. As the morning shift starts from 9, PM, uh, 9 a.m. up to 4 p.m. Uh, consists of, nine, of eight staff, uh, two cooks or chef, three waiter or waitress, one cashier, one cleaner, and one dishwasher. Total of eight staff. For evening shift, evening shift starts 4 p.m. up to 9 p.m. Uh, consists of eight staff, two chefs, three waiter or waitress, one cashier, one cleaner, and one dishwasher. Total of eight staff. So here, as you can see in the table, are the designation, the number of people, the monthly salary, and its yearly salary. For the four chefs or cooks of Chicks Delicious, their monthly salary is 6,000 pesos, so their yearly salary will be 288,000 pesos. For the six waitress or waiter, uh, their monthly salary is 5,000 pesos, so their yearly salary salary will be 360,000 pesos. For the two cashiers of Chicks Delicious, their monthly salary is 5,000 pesos, so their yearly salary will be 120,000 pesos. For the two cleaners of Chicks Delicious Restaurant, their mon monthly salary will be 4,500, so their yearly salary is 108,000 pesos. For the two dishwasher of Chicks Delicious Restaurant, their monthly salary is 4,500, so their yearly salary is 108,000 pesos. So, the total monthly salary of all uh, people who work in Chicks Delicious Restaurant is 82,000 pesos and their yearly salary is 984,000 pesos. So, I will now be presenting the financial plan. A financial plan is simply an overview of the current business financials and projections for growth. It is also any documents that represent a business's current monetary situation as a snapshot of the health of the business and the projections being its future expectations. In addition, it serves as a guide for the researchers to know if the transaction within three years is increasing. For the financial aspect, the total cost of the rent of the entire building is 10,000 pesos per month. For the electrical items and supplies, like mops, brooms, dustpans, dishwashing soaps, and pens, is a total cost of 29,557 pesos. For the dining equipments, like the spoons, forks, serving platter, ice tea tower, it's, it costs a total of 55,650 pesos. For the kitchen equipments, like work tables, ladle, walk, knives and chopping boards, it has a total cost of 79,600 pesos. For the raw materials, it has a total of 18,000 pesos. For the utilities expenses, it has a total cost of 7,099 pesos. And also for the advertisement expenses, for the tarpaulin and the brochures, it costs a total of 750 pesos. For the assumptions, the equipment are needed for the operation of the business. The air conditioner is for the ventilation of the entire restaurant as well as for the satisfaction of the customers. And also the advertisement expenses is for the publicity of the proposed project. For the income projection, so the business days would be from Mondays to Sundays, so that will be seven days a week. So we actually projected to have 45 customers per day with a minimum purchase of 200 pesos. So 45 times 200 times 30 days times 12 months, that's a total of 3,240,000. So the assumption is that the restaurant will get a maximum of 45 customers per day with a minimum purchase of 200 pesos each. 
for the projected income statement, I will be doing a screen share. So now let's talk about the projected income statement. So table one. So in year one, the proposed or the proponents simply used the average daily income and multiply that by 360 days to get the annual income. So that's 9,000 times 360 days. So the proponents assumed to have a total number of 360 working days only to acknowledge some selected holidays in a single calendar year. During the first year of operation, the proponents of this study assumed a realistic yearly income or revenue figures, which will be equivalent to 60% of possible percentage of sales since the business is still starting up. In the second year of operation, the proponents assumed that the percentage will increase to 65% because of inclination, and on the third year, the business will be known and will be able to establish itself. It will then increase to 70% once the business is stable and is known for its good reputation and excellent service. All right, so now let's talk about the salaries and wages expenses. So the chef cook will actually have a monthly salary of 6,000 pesos. The waiter or the waitresses will have a monthly salary of 5,000 pesos. The cleaner will get 4,000 pesos a monthly salary. The cashier will get 5,000 pesos per month. And the dishwasher will have 4,000 pesos for monthly salary. So the total annual salary and wages expenses will be 984,000 pesos. For the advertising expense, during year one, 750 pesos will be the advertising expense so that the prospect market will be aware of the new restaurant that is being established, which is the Chicksalicious restaurant. The tarpaulins, social media, flyers and brochures are the means of advertisement and promotions. And for the upcoming years, we assume a total of 375 passes will be the advertising expense, which is 50% of the previous year, which is the year one. Since the business is already building a reputation and this expense is mostly used, is for the market to be aware for the promos, contests, and events of the business. Now let's talk about the utilities expenses. These include the electricity, the LPG and internet connection fee. Monthly cost of the following are, for the electricity fee, it costs a total of 5,000 pesos. For the LPG, it's a total of 800 pesos. And for the internet connection will be 1,299 pesos. For the annual utilities expense, so that's a total of 7,099 pesos times 12 months, that's equivalent to 85,188 pesos. And of course, we have the projected income statement, table number two. So if you could see the total income from years one until year three, so in year one, it's a total of 3,240,000. In year two, it's a total of 3,600,000. And in year three, it's a total of 3,960,000. So the expenses are salaries and wages, advertisement, supplies, rent, dining equipment, kitchen equipment, utilities, raw materials, and that's a total of 1,372,745. So 3 million in year one, 3 million 240,000 minus 1,372,745. So the total income before the tax is 1,867,000. 255. 
However, there is a tax to be paid that's 30%. So that's a total of 560176 So the income or the total cost of income right after the tax is 1307049 passes. That's for year one. In year number two, all the expenses have been totaled. And that's a total of 1,372,370 pesos. And the total income before tax is 2,227,360, I'm sorry, 630 pesos. And of course, there is a tax which is 30%. So... The 30% um, charges a total of 668289 So the income right after the tax is 1559341 And in year 3, the expenses again are all totaled. And the total expenses has an average of 1372370 passes. So the income that we get before the tax is 2227630 And of course, you, um, it will be deducted with the 30% of tax. The tax uh, total is 668289 And the income that the restaurant will get right after the tax is... 1,559,341 passes. Now for the conclusion. After the process of observation and research about the target market, technical production, site selection, identification and exploration of business scenarios, and competitor examination, it is concluded that the thorough project statement supported by all parts of a complete feasibility study promotes the establishment of a casual dining restaurant called Chicxilicious Restaurant in Rizal Street, Palampa, Leyte. The marketing strategy has been implemented as well as the demand and supply have been estimated which favored the project. The commodity, quality, prices, and anticipated production capacities are also determined. The needed equipment, raw materials, manpower, and site layout with all associated figures are determined in the technical feasibility study part. Some of the positive economic impacts of the proposed study are to be able to provide new job opportunities and to establish a local-based restaurant that is not franchised. As regards to the environmental impacts, the casual dining restaurant will not create any severe environmental consequences like environmental issues with energy, pollution, toxicants, and wastes. The standard operating procedures and awareness will be given to both employees and to customers on how to keep the environment clean. The proponents conclude that the Chicxilicious restaurant is feasible and reasonable that can provide job opportunities, provide customers with great service, great food and great ambience, and can also help modernize the town of Palampon Leyte. For the recommendations, the following points covers the basic recommendations from the present study. First is to pursue for the business project as all the sections of the feasibility study encourages establishment of the project. Next is to venture on online and home delivery for more exposure. Next is to conduct a study for expansions to other locations near Palampon Leyte. And lastly is to add dishes according to the feedback and preferences of the customers to maximize profits.